Football's Backstage with Mark Paul. It's Tuesday, the 26th of November, and I'm standing outside in Gimoroleta at the auditorium where the last 10 weeks of South African Idols has been filmed. And behind me, a crowd is gathering to find out who has won Season 9 of South African Idols. Now, every year, thousands and thousands of people tune in to watch the show on Mnet and Mzansi Magic. And also, 6,000 people every week come to this auditorium and watch the show live. I must say, those people get the true experience of what South African Idols is really about. So what I want to do tonight during this final is to go behind the scenes a little and show you some of the things that you do not get to see while sitting on your couch watching at home. So let's go inside. The show is going to start in a little while and let's see what happens during this final. So I'm sitting in front of the judges booth where every week you see Gareth, Unati and Randall sitting here giving their comments. Now the judges actually have a lot of fun between shots, um, off, off camera, um, chatting to themselves. There's a great chemistry especially between Gareth and Unati. Um, sometimes Randall joins in on that. But one of the things you might have noticed about about the judges is that very often when the camera goes onto them you'll see they're wearing headphones. One of the reasons for that is because this crowd this year is so loud that very often they cannot actually hear the music over the noise of the crowd. So they have under their table a controller where they can control the volume of their own headphones so that they can hear exactly what the singers are singing. Effectively they hear what you would hear on TV. One of the other interesting things concerns Proverb, the MC of the show. Now, Proverb has at the back of the auditorium a display screen that displays the words, a teleprompter that shows him what he needs to say. So that just makes his job a little easier as the MC. You would have noticed on the show that Proverb's angles and Proverb's positioning changes from time to time. Clever editing makes it look like he moves around quite a lot. But actually, there are only three places where Proverbs stands during the show. Obviously, the first one is center stage. The other one is to the left of the auditorium, right over here. And then the final one is in one of the aisles where he always stands at exactly the same place. Um, and the camera comes up close. It also has a teleprompter so he can read his lines off that. So in the audience here before the Idols final of Season 9, I've bumped into vocal coach Marty Kelly who has done an incredible job every year with training these vocalists. How has this season of Idols been for you? Well, thank you very much for the compliment. I have the greatest job in the world. Um, this year has been great. You know, every year has its highlights. This year has definitely had its highlights as well. Um, it, it's been an amazing journey. We've had really strong contestants. Our top 10 was really strong. Uh, we work really hard. They work hard. They're hungry. Well, you work hard. You tweeted me a half past one the other morning. Oh, yeah. No, no, I work 24-7. Listen, goodness. I work when the kids are available. We work all the time, all the time, all the time. Yeah. But that's, that's what I was made to do in my life. Yeah, that's what I do. That's what do I love it, doing. You do it so well. Yeah. Just one quick question then. Who has been the easiest contestant with you to work for? <laughs> work, work. None of them. Uh, <laughs> me, actually, you know what? Um, uh, the easiest has actually been Benjamin. I don't know if oh, you really. Yeah. Yes. I tell you why because he um, he brought me tea every half hour. Okay. He, his mother raised. So it's got him nothing really to do well. with the vocal ability. It's got no, to no, do no. with the tea. No, it it makes tea. He made me tea. He'd come every half hour to check up on me to say, Molly, are you okay? Can I put the lights on for you? Can I get you something to drink? There's cake. Can I get you some cake? Have you had supper? He was just like my son. He's the most most amazing boy. Well, Molly, but we I don't know. Him. We don't know what our future holds. So how do you like your tea? Um, strong, a little milk for future contestants. <laughs> Strong, a little milk, and, and uh, two sweeteners. Way to Thank, go. Thanks so much. Enjoy the show. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. It was so good meeting you eventually. Great. Musa! So that's that. Musa is season nine winner. While well, I go check out what he feels like, you can check out what happened behind the scenes during the show. Like the sun of the earth, every morning I wake up. 